Hey everyone, what's up? And, uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a HTPC, or just if you're interested in HTPC. And this is mine. I brought it down to uh, clean the other day. So, the first thing is you can use any kind of case you want, but the, uh, the actual HTPC specific cases look real good. Silverstone makes a bunch of them. There's a uh, a couple other manufacturers. I'll put, I'll put some links in the description. You can get this one, the LC20, for about $100. Um, they also make one with a fancy little display here, which I don't have. But, but yeah. you see what it looks like. It has uh, pretty good ventilation. This would be where... This is a CPU exhaust fan right here. You got the uh, power supply exhaust fan. You have two fans in the rear. And you also have the option to add two fans up in the front, right in front of your uh, hard drive bay. Now the reason I actually picked this particular case is because of the size and I had a, um, a full-size video card. Now I wouldn't really recommend running the full-size video cards because they do tend to keep temperatures up real high. The only reason I'm running a uh, full-size video card is because I have a 3D TV and I used to play like uh, Left 4 Dead and stuff in 3D. So I need a full-size video card and a an OK CPU to be able to game on this thing a little bit. Now, what I'd really recommend, especially if it's your first HTPC, I'd go for like an Atom board, uh, maybe the um, AMD E350s. Those seem pretty nice. But this is actually a full. This is a Intel Q9600. Got eight gigs of RAM. A uh, XFI something or other and a GTX 285. I used to, I used to have a GTX 480, but it was just it was just unnecessary. So if you notice, there's a there's another version of this case floating around. I've seen pictures of it with a dual hard drive bay right here. Um, if you can find that model, it'll be much better because then you won't have to do this uh, this ghetto hacking of your case, but. I just couldn't fit the extra power wire. Now we're going to get into installing Media Center software. We got Xbox Media Center or Windows Media Center. Alright, so um, we just got done talking about the actual HTPC. Let's talk about getting your software for your front end. So, right now we're on Windows 7. Let me open up Firefox and xmbc.org is where you go to get the the front end it looks like this so we're going to go you can pick uh, OS X, Linux, Windows, Apple TV and the Linux Live CD. Now this thing's pretty neat because you can try out XMBC without ever installing anything on your computer. So maybe a little later I'll give a tutorial on how to use this because it's pretty neat. But I'm on a Windows machine right now. So oh and before I do this, these are the nightly builds right here. These will give you the most up-to-date, like this one came out today. Yeah, let's try. Alright, so our XMBC download is completed. Well, we're going to open it up. We got a little setup wizard. Get to pick where you want it. This is uh, my laptop, so all I got is a C drive. So 
So this is your default uh, no, interface screen. Whoop. That shouldn't happen. There you go. Now if you look down on the bottom, you have a ticker. You can set this to uh, any feed that you want. Doesn't really matter. Now when you actually add a movie or a TV show, it's going to go and hit the web and try and find out all the content about the show, which is pretty neat. But. You add your source to where your files are. You can browse it, add it directly. And all your files will show up in here. For This is my music right now. Uh, video program system. In your system menu, you have all sorts of themes. Or skins, as they call them. I'll just grab like uh, I don't know, two of them just to demonstrate. So, this is um, JX720. Looks just like an Xbox uh, interface. Pretty neat. I've never used this particular one. Oop, I didn't mean to hit that. Pretty cool, huh? We'll try the Aeon Knox screen. Skin. Oh, I like this one too. Heavier weather. Uh, it'll play DVDs. And then you have your add ons. Oh, apparently, this is uh, the skin does not support mat mice, but we're going to try and use one anyway. So there's like web interface add-ons, um, picture add-ons, different skins, subtitles, uh, probably music, let's see, oh, Groove Shark, different stuff like this, Shoutcast, that's uh, it's broken in this work currently. Album info, you can get lyrics, it's just, it's just a really neat. Um, interface. If you use emulators, there's a there's an emulator front end that plugs into this. It's pretty neat. It's just hundreds. Like YouTube, I already enabled. Now, just to wrap this up, I'm going to talk about how to actually connect this to your TV. Now you see these, these, these are DVI plugs, and what these essentially are is HDMI without audio. So if you're going to use DVI, you're going to need to get a DVI to HDMI converter, and then you just plug that into your TV, and then run this into your, uh, your audio in. Now you can also use VGA. But that would that would be VGA to uh, RCAs, which would be the three cables, and that's not HD. But uh, the newer motherboards come with HDMI uh, ports. That usually gives you HDMI with sound, or you can use DVI and these to get sound. And that's about it.